Hello, and welcome to the Tiny Human Knits podcast, my podcast about knitting, sewing, crochet, cross-stitch, and all manner of crafty goodness. My name is Laura, and I'm coming to you from High Level, Alberta, Canada. <clears throat> and you can find me as Tiny Human Knits on Instagram, on Ravelry, and you can find my Etsy shop under the same name. Uh, we also have a Ravelry group for the podcast. You can find that under the Tiny Human Knits podcast in the Ravelry groups tab. Um, which I encourage you to join as I might be having a giveaway soon on that uh, that platform. Um, and maybe a knit-along. I'm thinking of doing a sweater knit-along uh, starting, se not September, uh, starting in August, um, potentially. Uh, if anyone would be interested in that, the, there's no real rules, particularly if it's a whip, it's fine. Um, if it's brand new cast on, it's fine. There's going to be a minimum um, weight requirement, but uh, besides that, it's going to be pretty lax. Um, if anyone's interested in that, please let me know and we might uh, get that started up in August. Um, so, I don't really have anything administrative to do, um, and I normally would do what I'm wearing at the moment, but it is way too hot to be wearing any knitted anything. No. It's way too warm. I'm actually, I've got the window open a little bit and I don't think it's doing anything. Um, so I will just jump in. I've got two finished objects today. Um, one is something that you saw on the last podcast and one is brand new. Uh, the first one is my husband's pair of Knit Picks Felici socks. And this is the yarn I got from Sam of uh, the Hand Me My Knitting podcast. Um, and the socks are going to look funny. Um, here they are finished. Got two. Uh, they don't fit on these sock blockers, just so everybody knows. That's why they look weird. Um, they're a little bit too small for those, but... Um, it's just, um, toe up, rounded toe. Um, and I cast on for 64 stitches. Um, and then just did a gusset and turn. And then pretty much uh, just knit as much as I can up to the top and did a three by one rib just to give it a little bit more of a masculine. I don't know. It's what he wanted. But now that I've shown you, he can finally wear them now that it's too hot to even wear them. So that's my first finished object. And my second is a request by a co-worker of mine. Um, she wanted uh, an infinity scarf, so a big cowl. Um, she didn't have any preferences to pattern or anything like that, so I just pretty much cast on 143 stitches on an 8mm needle and just did seed stitch in the round for days. Um, she just wanted it to be squishy and warm, and it is certainly that. Um, I made it out of a uh, Lion Brand wool spun in the linen colorway. I'm gonna say this is just stuff I picked up when I was in Edmonton so wrap around twice this won't last long it's so hot in here as you can see gloriously squishy and just it's exactly what she wanted I think so I'll be able to give that to her on Monday so those are my two finished objects um, I would have had more finished objects, um, but I ran out of wool for one of my projects, which I'll move right into what's on my needles, works in progress. Um, the first one is one you've seen a couple times. It is the Stranger Cardigan, uh, which is a Brooklyn tweed pattern. Um, I thought I'd be done. I would have been done, um, except I ran out of, out of yarn. I completely miscalculated how much yarn I would need. Um, but I do have the two cable panels. This isn't going to look like much because it's sewn together and I still need to pick up for the sleeves and it's just a giant T right now. Um, but I have the two <laughs> cable panels. So how this is made is you make these two cable panels from the uh, outside edge inwards. And they're exactly the same. Um, and then you three needle bind off uh, in the middle and then you pick up for the back stitches along this edge and then you just knit down um, and then when I get the wool I'll be picking up for the sleeves in this 
area and then I'll just have to sew uh, the sides together. I'm thinking when I get the yarn I might sew the sides together first and then pick up for for the sleeves just so I can do them in the round so there's a little less seaming. Um, but I will figure that out when I get the yarn. I wholly miscalculated. I thought I had enough. I was way off. I need. I ordered two more skeins um, from I think it's loveknitting.com. I think that's where I ordered it from. And they were having a, if you order $75 worth Canadian, you get free shipping. So I might have thrown a couple things in there. Um, so that's my first work in progress. And I will have this done by the time I podcast next time. Um, but I think I'll be giving it to her, my coworker, that's who it's for. Um, I'll be giving it to her right away just because I don't want to have her wait that long just so I can show it. So I'll try to take some photographs so I can uh, insert them into the next podcast, but I won't have it in my hands. Um, so that's my first work in progress. Um, my second work in progress is something I haven't shown on the podcast at all. I, I think I cast it on on Monday. <clears throat> Um, and this is for the same coworker, and she saw my first podcast where I was wearing my Diodara pullover, um, and she wanted one really badly. So I ordered some Knit Picks Swish DK in the Indigo Heather colorway, and it is this glorious purple. Like, I'm not much for purple, but this, this purple is so beautiful. There's so many other colors in it. Flat purples don't really do much for me. Um, so I finished the body and this is a pattern by Maria Olson by the way. You can find it on Ravelry and I, as I said before, I suggest everyone make one because it is beautiful. Um, but I have the body finished. So it's a top-down pattern with these beautiful lace sleeves. And I'm almost done the first sleeve. I would have got this done yesterday, but it was so warm. And I spent far too much time outside, so I was really tired. Um, so this is the first sleeve. And when you're making these sleeves, you kind of have to make them a little bit shorter than what you want. Because when you block it, it actually stretches out a lot. Um, but it's a really, really simple lace pattern. Um, and actually the only complaint I have about this pattern is that I absolutely despise knit three togethers and that's essentially half of this sleeve pattern and I hate it but it's beautiful so I'll let it slide um, I'm looking forward to the other sleeve because it's the um, uh, slip one knit two together past slip st stitch over which is way easier than to knit two together um, so yeah, but this yarn is so soft and so squishy and so affordable. If anyone's been thinking about ordering from Knit Picks and they're not sure, I 100% recommend. I have ordered so much yarn from them in the past and I have I just got a big order this week. I ordered some of this for a sweater for my husband because he's been asking for another one. Um, which is going to be a Brooklyn Tweed pattern. <sighs> Um, I've already picked that out for him. So with this though, I went down a needle size. I went to a four millimeter for the body um, instead of a 4.5, which the pattern calls for. And I just went up a size in the pattern because uh, my coworker was kind of in between sizes anyway. Um, so I thought the one size up would be sufficient. And plus this, this yarn is pretty stretchy. Um, or it has a lot of give to it, I should say. But it's supposed to be fitted. And I'm knitting those on my Addy Interchangeable set. Um, I've got the lace tip um, interchangeables. This is the best purchase I've ever made in my life, I should just say. Comes with eight different sizes of needles. And I have ordered extra uh, cords because I keep... Whenever, if you want to put your uh, knitting on hold or... Um, if you have to hold stitches for a certain part on a, in a pattern, it's really easy because they give you this connector where you can connect either end of the uh, the cord to, and it just keeps it from falling off, which is amazing. So that's that. Um, my third work in progress. 
um, is a pair of socks for a different coworker. Um, it's it's not going to look like anything. I just got past the toe. It's just a simple, almost a vanilla sock. I'm going to do a one by one rib on the top of the foot um, and then up the leg just to give it some interest based on a picture she sent me. And this is all I've got right now. It's just a knitting mustache. Um, I'm knitting this out of uh, Regia Tweed, and it is this big ball. Uh, this is 150 grams, so after I finish hers, I will definitely have enough to make some for myself. Um, and I think this would look really nice with um, a really bright contrast heel, like a really, really bright one, just because it's so plain. Um, That's what I've got right now, and I've literally just gotten past the toe. I've I put this on the needles, and it's a bit of a tougher, like a, a woolier uh, yarn. So I was kind of having a bit of uh, wrist pain one day, so it wasn't very easy for me to knit this. But um, that's gone away, so I should be able to work on this after I finish my two sweaters, which I don't think I'm the Diodara. I should have done by the end of the day. Um, the sleeves don't take long at all. It's just a matter of me sitting down and actually doing them. Um, so I should have that. And I actually, I'm, I have, I think, eight more other pairs of socks that have been requested from me from people that I work with. So there should be a lot of socks in the future. So those are what I'm working on, um, at the moment. And it's pretty fun getting a couple sweaters done is really satisfying. I love sweaters. Um, they're one of my favorite things to knit, uh, which is why I'm considering doing a knit along for people with a like-minded tendency of wanting to make all the sweaters. Um, I think after I finish these two, those will be my number nine and ten of sweaters, adult sweaters for the year, I think. Pretty sure. Um, and I've ordered a couple sets of uh, sweater quantities from various places of sweaters that I have made for other people in the past but I really really want one for myself so um, yeah I thought making it along for the fact that I'm gonna be knitting sweaters anyway would be more fun um, I think I might move into acquisitions now I've got some pretty good acquisitions today um, some things that I've wanted for quite a while and some surprise things that, um, Instagram. I, I need to stop going on Instagram because I've been seeing so many talented, uh, dyers on Instagram and it's getting really hard to resist. Um, but the first set of acquisitions, I made a big Knit Picks order, um, for sweaters and socks for the custom requests that I have that people from people that I work with. So um, I, I might have added a couple things for myself in the order because why not if you're already paying for shipping. This set of um, Knit Picks Stroll Tweed is going to be for a pair of socks for a co-worker. So these I ordered specifically for her. But I threw these on for me. Or my husband. It's probably going to be for my husband at least some. But I'm trying to figure out which goes with what best. I really like the red and the brown together. Um, I might just have to make myself some Franken socks after a while. I think that'd be fun. Um, and the rest of my Knit Picks order is just a various kinds of um, sweater quantities. and I'll show them when I start using them for projects. Um, another one that I ordered is from a company called Cauldron of Colors, and I saw her on Instagram, and I actually ordered two, so Sarah Clark, so this is one that I ordered, and it is called, and it's called Caribbean Nemesis, and I love it, these pinks are so glorious. And then with this shot of this deep, deep blue, so pretty. Um, and I saw this on Instagram and I, I wanted it really badly. So I ordered it and uh, I ordered a 
Superwash Merino and Nylon. And this I think I might put in a shawl or some other type of uh, project like that. But I also ordered it in the same colorway in a sturdier, um, it's less yardage, but that's going to be for a pair of socks for a co-worker's friend, so she requested that. Um, and it comes with this cute little stitch marker. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that's one of the things that I ordered. And she put it in this gorgeous little organza bag with some candy and a bag of tea. Um, and then I ordered from a website called Yarn Indulgences, which this is totally what it is. Um, I ordered, I think they were having a free shipping sale if it was over a certain amount. So I thought, again, why not? Shipping adds up after a while. So the first one I ordered is a 80% superwash merino, 20% silk, um, and this is called Sand and Sea. And I don't normally go for blues, but this one, this one speaks to me on a, on an emotional level. It's so pretty. Um, so I have that one. And another one is a 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon, and this is eggs and toast. And actually I think these look really nice together. Um, and then I just got a nice gray, it's called Slate, and this is also an 80% superwash merino, 10% uh, cashmere, 10% nylon. Um, this is a lace weight. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to make with this, but I, I feel like grays are always welcome in my stash, just because I have so many colors that will go really well with gray. Um, so yeah, that was my order, and it did take a little while to be shipped out, so she sent me oh, this stunning mini skein. I don't know what color it is, but I want a full skein of it. Look at that. Oh, so beautiful. I need more mini skeins in my life. I think I'm going to be ordering some, some mini skein packs, but... I love mini skeins so much. Um, I also, my last acquisition that I'm going to be talking about today, just because this has gone on long enough, I think, um, is from Stray Cat uh, Socks, and they're based out of New Zealand. Um, and I ordered, I mainly ordered from this uh, company. I've heard them uh, talked about before, and their yarns are absolutely gorgeous. They are self striping gobstopper balls. Um, but one I had to have because it reminded me of my husband so much. Um, so I got two. They come in these super cute boxes. Um, I got one for myself. And I had to get this because it was gorgeous. But it's called Mod. And it is gorgeous cream and gold and this sort of like, well, mauvey purple. And it's so beautiful. And this is my first time I got a gobstopper ball and it's so exciting. So I'll be making myself some socks out of that. Um, so that's the first one. Let me learn how to close this box again. And the second one was the reason I put in the order. The colorway is called Luigi, but um, I think it looks so much like David Tennant's uh, Doctor Who that I had to order it for my husband. And if anyone agrees with me, let me know. If this doesn't scream David Tennant, I don't know what does. Because he got this TARDIS blue and these browns that remind me of his um, overcoat. And just everything about this screams Doctor Who to me. And since his last pair of socks that I just finished um, were the Time Traveler colorway in um, Knit Picks uh, Felici yarn, um, it's the fourth Doctor. It's his scarf, 100%. That's just, they're just calling it Time Traveler to uh, escape any sort of copyright infringement. So I think he needs more Doctor Who themed socks. That was really exciting. Both of these came in yet, um, they're all three. So I got some more from Quince and Co. Just to have enough to make a sweater. Um, yeah. 
these are great it actually got here with quite like quite quickly considering it's from New Zealand um faster than other stuff that I'm expecting but yeah those are my acquisitions I'm sorry if that was really long because I know some people don't particularly like acquisitions but I'm sort of milking it for all it's worth right now um I'm gonna cut myself off pretty soon here just because I won't be working for too too much longer so I can't just keep ordering stuff willy-nilly um so yeah those are my beautiful acquisitions it's very exciting so I don't have a shop update this week um, but I do have some leftover notions pouches still in the shop um, I have got two pink knit notions pouches um, one mauve two of what I'm what I'm calling um, rusty pink and one of a um, spearmint sort of green so I've got those still in the shop and I've got some regular project bags as well um, I started a new clearance section on my Etsy page just so ones that have been there for a while or just to make room because I want to start stocking for um, holiday stuff which I know might seem early but as a maker you kind of have to start as early as you can um, so yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm trying to clear out, and, uh, if you want to give that a look at, then please do. Um, so I might just blather on a little bit now. Um, I'm sorry if this podcast, uh, seems a bit stilted. I've had a sort of weird week, um, sort of, well, weird two weeks. I've been so busy, and lately it's been so hot that it kind of feels like all fuddled up. And, uh, so yeah, if this isn't quite as much fun, I'm sorry. Um, I've also had, like, a weird lack of confidence thing, uh, this past, since my last podcast. It's just, um, been doubting myself a lot. I'm trying not to. Um, finishing projects does help with that, but it's just my own weird thing. I've probably just been spending too much time outside, to be perfectly honest, because it's really hot out there, and I'm not supposed to be in the sun, so it's not going to help. Um, but if anyone's interested, our garden is doing amazingly well. We've finally gotten um, most of it weeded again. And when I tell people that it was covered in weeds, I mean it was covered in weeds. You couldn't even see what was something we planted and what wasn't. It was a blanket. It was ridiculous. But we finally got most of that done, um, and it's coming in really, really well. Um, as I showed last week, we got a kitten named Shrimply Pibbles to join us uh, with our bunny. Um, and I can tell you, the first couple days, they didn't really get along. Um, not anything on the cat's part. Our bunny is a drama queen. Um, but he, he got used to her, and now they play quite a bit. And it's hilarious, because she's... If anyone's seen kittens, she's all feisty and bouncing around, and he he's an old man. He's essentially an old, grumpy man. And, uh, but they do play. She likes to chase him around, but he, he'll give her a what for if she's being annoying. Um, also, all he has to do <laughs> to scare her off is just sort of poke his nose out a little bit, and she just runs for it, and it's hilarious. Um, but they do cuddle sometimes. If we leave them to their own devices, they'll be sitting together. And, uh, it's adorable. It's as adorable as it sounds. And, uh, she's growing like crazy. She's now bigger than our rabbit. And when we first got her, she was half his size. So, it's pretty great. Um, she's annoying, though. She likes to play with your eyelids when you're trying to sleep. Which is hilarious. So, yeah. She's been told off a couple times. Um, besides that, that's pretty much all I've gotten up to besides knitting. Um, I do have a lot of stuff to do. I've got a couple requests from my coworkers for non-knitting related, uh, projects. Um, so I've got to work on those probably next weekend. Um, but yeah, I think I might just wrap it up there. Um, thank you so much for checking out my podcast. A uh, big thank you to all the people who are returning, um, from previous watchings. <laughs> And to people who are watching me for the first time, I uh, thank you so much for checking me out. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.